Alrighty, how you doing? Today, I'm going to be doing a Volvo D13 fuel pump. Here's the pump right here. This truck has broken down in Florida, Burbersville, Burberville. And it's been sitting on the side of the road for a day now, or a day and a half, I think. So here's the fuel pump. I'm showing you this first because... Um, so you can get a good perspective because right now it is covered in a lot of dirt. I've sprayed brake clean all over it. This shouldn't be too bad. So here we have it right here. And we have this little piece that is going to go in. Goes in over here. An O-ring. We're going to have two lines here. And then I believe there might be one here. But I know you have your return. And the out, the out and the in. So that's this. Um, here's the part number for it. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in the uh, description. I also have this is the little printout how it's sitting in there, so you can screenshot that, help you better understand. This one is sitting behind the uh, power steering. So I'm going to get down there, pretty much show you. It's another O-ring for it here too. So I'm going to go to the truck and I'm going to show you where it's looking like, how it's sitting in there. All right, so here it is right here. It's right there. You have the two lines I showed you right here. These two lines are going to come off. And then we're going to pretty much take the bolts out for there, Allen bolts. I'm going to get the size on that. I'm trying to get a better view here, but, but yeah, here it is. So sitting here, and it is over here underneath the air compressor. That's where it's located on the driver's side. So let me get the adequate tools and get this a little bit cleaned off and I'm going to be able to show you how we're taking this off. So here, these are the Torx 30 bolts. I had to use an extension. Extended uh, Torx 30 with the quarter flex ratchet. These are pretty, uh, pretty hard to break a little bit from the way they're sitting. And I'm just taking these off first. And then, then the other two, you gotta you gotta get with a short one. I kind of cleaned inside the Torx hole because it makes it a little bit easier. Because it's a lot of dirt. one so I got that one a little loose there we go so it's kind of hard to keep on there we go Three bolts. I kind of already cracked the line below here, loose already. So that one I already kind of got that one loose. That's a seven eighths. The seven eighths fell. There it is. It kind of happened out of the sun. It could be in the sun. But I'm not, so I'm like in the corner here, tucked away. So that's the good thing about it. All right, so I'm gonna take these lines. It's gonna be a few more that's gonna come out. So I am ready for that. So 
just uh, already cracked that one open. You have the o rings and stuff here. But yeah, so I feel it now. So just be careful. Getting this out. It's gonna spray out, so I'm just gonna kind of get this out here here. Safety glasses on. Just in case it sprays in my eyes. So it's good to have safety first. Careful, also, you don't want any like dirt contaminant to get into this. So, just, yeah. just kind of like that. And then there's that. And then I'm going to try to get to me. This up so I can get to the other one. Kind of try not to wet up my working area here. So I think this one's actually a 24. Yeah, it's just maybe just put that 24 away. Uh, 24 or a 1516, whichever you prefer. Alright. So, please get home. Right there. Let it come out of here. There it is. So, the old one. Anyway. Grab, see that piece right there? We got a new piece right there. We want to grab a new piece. So, here it is. Get on. I want to hurry up and do this. I'm going to grab that piece out and I'm going to try and hurry up because I'm getting wet. Okay. We're all good. It's all on there. Let's see. Bolt to tight, lines back, get your o rings, set that back right. Okay, that's it. About to prime it up now. Trying to get this. Yeah, so I'm gonna get it like that and just really prime it really well. 